Let me show you what this bad boy can do. All right, so I know some of you have been waiting for uh, me to finish up the 6x6. Turns out there's quite a bit wrong with it. Uh, front AE arms need bushings, the shifter shot, uh, some electrical issues with it. So um, for now, I'm going to shoot a video on something else that I'll show you in just a little bit. So some of you subscribers hinted to me on my channel about uh, working on the floor or getting a lift. And a couple of you uh, actually wanted to donate um, uh, for all the info that I give. And uh, this, for me, it was never about money. Uh, but I do thank you. And I thank all my subscribers. And uh, thanks to the channel, I was actually able to finally buy a lift. So, just buy things little by little as I need them. $1,500 lift for uh, 800 bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. Now I don't have to bend over anymore. Haha. <laughs> so, welcome to Titanium Man Garage. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to and uh, hit the bell if you like the video. I got uh, plenty of Polaris repairs on there. So, today we are going to go over the rear brakes on a Polaris Sportsman 500. Uh, this one's a 2000 and uh, we'll be doing the brakes and that's something I haven't covered yet and you can uh, buy a brake kit out there rear brake uh, caliper and the master cylinder got these on eBay for 35 bucks I thought that was a steal and I already installed one in an ATV and um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put one in this one um, or if we're just gonna bleed the brakes okay so we're covering the foot brake which is something I really haven't covered before and uh, behind here, there's a little master cylinder like I showed you in the, the package. It looks like this. So when the foot brake, the foot brake is pressed, the cylinder pushes in and pumps up the rear caliper. So what I need to do is I need to, to bleed that. So you have the filler tube up on top. I don't know if we can get in here. Your filler tube up on top, and that goes down to the little master cylinder. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crack open this bleeder screw and then I'm going to press on the foot pedal. But uh, first, I'm going to put my little hose on here, and I have a cup full of brake fluid. And uh, what that does is I put the brake fluid in the hose. So that way when I pump the foot pedal, the air doesn't get back in. There we go. Air bubbles just went through. Uh, can you see that in the camera? Now when I pump this, let me see what air come out. That's how I'm bleeding the air out of the brakes. Is there uh, fluid in there? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Keep pumping it. Oh, there it's big. Oh, bubbles are popping out. Stop, hold it down. Okay. Now, top off the fluid. All right, so I topped off the fluid up here. And I got my helper pumping the foot pedal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crack that bleeder screw open again and bleed more air out. Right, just hang on, you don't have to pump yet. So now I'm gonna hook my hose back up and we're gonna crack that open again. By hooking the hose up, it keeps, uh, when you release the pedal, it keeps the air from sucking in by keeping the hose in the jar. You go ahead and pump it three times. 
Okay, so one more thing I want you to do is squeeze the handbrake. I'm gonna crack open the black back one. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. All right, pump it again. One more time. All right, here. Okay. Okay, so I couldn't get the uh, the, uh, the foot pedal to bleed. Um, so I'm thinking the brake pads are pretty well gone. So that might be part of the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the caliper off. And we're gonna put the brake pads on. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I got the bolts out of the caliper. I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna inspect it. Yeah, the brake pads are gone. Can you see that in the camera? Can you come over here. So these brake pads are pretty toast. So there's a clip right on top. You pull that up and out, and that's how you get the brake pads out. There we go. So the pin came out. Now these oops, pads just fell right out. <laughs> Yeah, see there's not much left of those pads. All right, so what we have here is the two pistons coming out of the caliper are seized up. So I, me and my son, we were uh, bleeding the brakes and both those pistons would not move. So I'm thinking I have to replace this caliper and uh, I apologize for the lighting being not so hot before. Uh, Tight quarter is kind of hard to get into without moving the footboard. Alright, I'm bolting up the new caliper. It's the uh, pistons in the other caliper were shot. And here's your uh, master cylinder. Take this off. Back on. Slide your filler hose back on. Place. Not easier to do with the footboard out of the way. There, there's master cylinder. All right, so a quick overview from the foot pedal. I put the new master cylinder in, those two bolts there. Uh, ran the line up. Now you guys probably really couldn't see before because the lighting isn't that hot. I replaced the caliper. And now uh, there's two bolts that hold that in place. And then your uh, uh, two lines coming in and your two bleeders. So the outside one is the bleed the foot pedal. The inside one uh, is the handbrake. So you want to do what I did, um, put a hose on and stick the hose in the jar full of uh, brake fluid, squeeze the handle a couple times, get all the air out. And right now she's nice and tight. It's a lot easier to do without the footboard on. Get that out of the way and she's good to go. Thanks for watching.